Okay, welcome to this episode of History Saver on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And excited for this video because I've just got in from MREs on a French ration uh, from the French Army. This is a current French ration, menu number three. Uh, 6 11 2020 is the expiration date on here and if you look at it here you have menu number three 6 11 2020 and you have the contents lasagna pure beef um, liver pate a dessert chocolate cream uh, some other kind of chocolate some biscuits which is probably going to wind up being cookies don't know what more chores is if that's even how you pronounce it which is probably not and some kind of fruit pate and something else there at the bottom but we got this in from mre zone thank you to those guys for sending this to us and guys i highly recommend mre zone and uh you can get some great rations from those guys some, at some great prices i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pop this open it's got a plastic over the top of the box here i uh, want to give a shout out real quick to nathan's mre and uh, one of our subscribers and another fellow youtubers on youtube go check out his channel he does some great reviews he's a lot better than me probably uh, also go check out steve 1989 uh, check out old Smokey. just a few of the guys i love to watch i watch all their videos as they put them on youtube and great guys to deal with and got it popped up in here all right, got some George's Biscuits. These Champagne Army Biscuits. It's pretty cool. Comes in a little box and it actually says Army Biscuits on it. I've never seen that before. I think that's a neat, real neat thing to see. Um, got some kind of 70% chocolate here. 70% nowhere, if that's how you say it, chocolate bar. Got a big package of toilet paper or tissues. And that is the biggest thing of tissues I have ever run across in the MRE yet, uh, personally. I'm sure there's bigger ones out there than that. Biggest package I've run across yet, so that's pretty cool. Um, also got some kind of fruit bar here. It's pretty cool. It's got an uh, orange or peach on the front. Got some coffee. 100% Arabia coffee. All right, got the pate here. This is gonna be the liver pate, I believe. And I uh, got the date on the top of it. 6, 15, 20, 21. Little metal can, that's kind of cool. Also got some kind of chocolate pudding, looks like. And uh, can's a little dented right there, but other than that, it looks good. Got the date of 4, 28. 2021 on the bottom so pretty cool got a uh, small heating kit very cool it comes in a little box with directions on the back there and uh yeah that's pretty cool i've never seen one come in a box like that and then for our main course we have pure beef lasagna from zapetti so that's pretty cool if you're french ration you're finding lasagna and uh, got a date on the bottom here of 5 16 21. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get all this laid out into a tray. Come right back with you. Okay, so back with you. I uh, got everything out of the box onto a tray. One of the things I found out was kind of weird about this ration is you got some napkins, you got some coffee, but you get, did not get any other type of be uh, beverage. You didn't get a spoon, you didn't get any gum. You got some chocolate bars and the fruit bar but you, and some chocolate pudding, but you, did get, you didn't get any other candy whatsoever. And it's just a plain Jane basic um, ration kit with a bunch of stuff thrown in it just to sustain you. You did get a uh, little stove, and that was the stove you saw in the box when we were unboxing it. I've got it all set up and laid out and got the heating tablet on top of it. And you get a little box of matches with it with an Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna light one of these matches and see if I can get this little heating element to catch up. And it looks like it did catch on. So I give that a minute to work. And while it's doing this thing, 
We are going to get yeah, ketchup. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our lasagna and set it right on top. And uh, let that heat up a little bit. And while it's doing that, we're going to pull out some of these army biscuits. It's like St. George's army biscuits, which is pretty cool. I've never seen something with like actual written army biscuits. And basically what this is, it looks like cookies. I don't know if this is either a cookie or a cracker. Um, not quite for sure. So it's either gonna be one or the two, a cookie or a cracker. So we're gonna check that out. And you can see the heater taking off in the back. And that thing is actually working really well. And uh, yeah, if you can hear that, you can hear it kind of popping and sizzling on the inside already. So that's, that's pretty cool. I think it's time to get this thing off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. That quick, this thing is heated up that much, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty warm. You can see the bottom of it. And it's already pretty hot. I'm gonna open it up just to make sure that it has cooked warmed it up pretty good and looks like it needs a little bit more so i've got it open i'm actually going to set it on top and let that just heat up for a little while longer and while that's doing this thing we're going to go ahead take these cookies or crackers or whatever this may be they labeled it as army biscuits and you know over in europe they call everything a biscuit as a here in america we call crackers crackers and cookies cookies so don't really know if this is cookies or crackers. I'm gonna try that little broken piece and see what it is. It's pretty bland. Um, it's not salted. And that is not a cookie, that is a actual cracker. They do have a good taste to them. They're just really, really bland. No sugar in them, no salt in them, no nothing. They're uh, just, uh, I don't even think they're wheat. They look like they could be wheat, but they're not. So just bland crackers. And if I had to guess what the army biscuit tasted like, well, that would be it. Real bland, unsalted, and uh, not that great. At and I'm just taking this coffee, which is 100% Arabian coffee. Has a really strong smell to it. And we're gonna pour it in our hot cup of water. And the aftertaste of those crack from those crackers aren't very good at all. Now something else I wanna mention, this cannot come with creamer nor sugar. So this is just regular black coffee. They give you no creamer, no sugar, or anything like that with it. So there we go. Coffee's done. Got a good look to it. Let's try some. That's pretty good coffee. Uh, for no cream or sugar, it's still pretty good. Now, I had to use my own spoon out the kitchen because this ration actually comes with no spoons, like I said earlier. So, pretty uh, pretty bad if you go out in the field and you don't have a spoon, which I don't know how the Army over there does it. They may actually have their own personal spoons. And you can see the steam coming off of that. I think it's heated up. Yeah, it's pretty warm to the touch. Go ahead and pull this back. And that's pretty hot. Well, the pull towel don't work that great. <laughs> so we'll just roll with it like this. We'll, uh, we'll try some straight out the can. You can see it there. That's all cheese and got some lasagna there. That's pretty good. And I was thinking that was cheese and that's actually not cheese, that is the lasagna itself. I was thinking that could have been mozzarella cheese, but it's not. So you don't even get cheese with this thing. You just get pure lasagna, but it's actually really good. And I could actually eat one of these every day if I could. I mean, this is some really good lasagna. All right, moving on, we're gonna go to the Pate. This is gonna be the liver pate. Yeah. 
Pop that little two pull tab open. Look at that. That does not look good whatsoever. Not a big fan of liver, but uh, not gonna heat this up because I'm not for sure if you will even heat, heat the liver pate up. It's not the best in the world. I'm gonna try some by itself first. Mm. Holy crap. That tastes like absolute shit. Um, if I had to compare this to something, it would be a can of dog food. Real, I mean, just really, a can of dog food. Let's try it with a cracker just to see if it tastes any better. Oh, man. That's terrible. So I'm going to try some on a cracker. Well, I can promise you it don't get any better. Um, I'm done with this. Um, yeah. Liver pate is a no-go for me. That tastes like shit. Um, I need some coffee. This coffee's good. The lasagna's good. That liver pate tastes like absolute crap. And with that said, we're gonna change spoons. I don't even want this spoon anymore. And we're gonna move on to the chocolate pudding. Now this chocolate pudding is Mount or Mont Blanc or however it's pronounced. And uh, look at that. It looks like uh, someone took a big case of diarrhea in this can. But we're going to, uh, that is some watery pudding if I've ever seen it in my life. Uh, but never had French pudding, so I don't know what it tastes like for sure. Don't know what it looks like, but we're going to try it right now. actually tastes really good. That's uh, some very strong chocolate pudding is what it really tastes like. But it's actually really good. And uh, I can eat that. I can, I actually want some more of this. That's uh, it's very good chocolate pudding. I can definitely deal with that. Have to get that two thumbs up. It looks like crap. Looks like somebody took a big dump in the can. But, uh, Trust me, it tastes even, it tastes a lot better than that. This is the uh, fruit bar that come with it. And just right off the bat, this thing resembles some uh, other fruit bars I've seen from World War II and top ears like that. Uh, pretty cool how it resembles those. But uh, we're gonna try a piece of this and I think this is gonna be peach. It doesn't really have a smell to it. Um, if I were looking on a package, I would've saw it, it says apricot but I didn't see that, so I was just looking at the pictures. But uh, actually, it's really good. Very sugary. Doesn't really have a smell. Doesn't have a too big of a taste of apricots to me, but I did just eat that chocolate pudding. And we're gonna move on now to this 70% uh, chocolate bar and get it little squares as it comes out. And I'm not gonna take the whole thing out because I wanna save some of that for later. But we're gonna try one of these little squares to see how it tastes. That is very rich chocolate. Tastes almost like baking chocolate. But it's not bad. I've tasted French chocolate before. And uh, they do have some, some strong chocolate. And uh, that chocolate's very good actually. Yeah, I well, highly recommend this. That's some good chocolate. Um, everything on this menu so far has panned out, except for the liver pate, which tastes just like dog food. The army biscuits are pretty good. Um, they're just really bland. The chocolate fruit bar, all that's good. The, uh, despite the look of the chocolate pudding, it's actually really good. Uh, I give this menu of this French ration two thumbs up. It's approved. Um, pick you up one, try it out for yourself. Just beware of the dog food liver pate. This stuff is absolutely horrible. Until next time, we'll see you then.
This is History Saver. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.